Hello everyone, welcome again. This is Anil. I'm going to create this video for my first round with Tesco on coding review. So coding review, as most of the developers knows, it's nothing very special. They just check you based on your coding standard, coding review practices perspective and nothing else. So coding review, as a senior person in the team, you are required to mentor your team as well as give a quick review of how they are coding, whether they are following the right pattern or not, whether the code is scalable. So there are so many things that comes into the picture. So when we are talking about coding review, there are five important factors that you need to take care. One, your code should be easy to understand, easy to read. Your code should be scalable. Your code should be maintainable. Your code should be modular. Your code should be non-redundant. So these are the important five factors that you need to take care. We will explain one by one. So let's talk about the comments first. As a programmer, you should always take care that future programmers have reads your code. It is always easy to read English than any other programming language. And that actually brings a lot of cleanliness, a lot of focus when you are designing your code. What is the purpose of the code? Why you are differentiating between different methods, classes? So comments are always advisable in companies like Oracle, Google. They put a lot of focus in creating good comments and good documentation. So you can use even Swagger to create some better documentation there. So comments on class and then method level are definitely appreciable by future developers as well. And it is always a good design practice. So that is the first point uh, that I explain in this interview. Second is it should be scalable. So when you are designing your application, you should always be focused that the version you are working definitely going to enhance from 1.0 to 2.0 and so on and so forth. So it is important your design should be scalable, which means you should use all the factors which makes it scalable that might include using modular design, which I'll explain uh, later in this video. You should externalize mostly uh, most of the component of the property. You should package it, clean it, and that is how you can talk about the scalability picture. Next is maintainable. So one, like if we just talk about Java, so Java is very vast and you know, like there are army of developers who work on a project and that's where it is also important. It should be maintainable used to go with packages people used to go with packaging of individual classes creating a hierarchy of that and then exporting it as a jar or dependency in any other uh, java project so you should always take care it should be maintainable and for that all the required things should be taken care in your code so that is the second uh that there is a third part for your review that you should uh, take care of then the fourth point is it should be modular modular is always easy because uh, you know like every everyone is not talking about microservices they are talking about micro front end so when you keep your code classes even modular this gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of fixing or debugging any particular code even you can break that into smaller chunks and that smaller chunks are very easy to manage also, it gives you a flexibility where the modular code can be imported in any other class or any other file. Whereas if you have the bulk line of code, so in terms of performance, in terms of readability, in terms of extendability, it is always advisable to use the modular code. So for that, what you should do if you're using Java, you should use interfaces. You should use abstract classes. You should use the design patterns so that your code should be modular. And last but not least, non-redundant. So most of the time what we do, and this is something what I learned from my uh, number of years of experience, you try to put everything at one place. So as an example, when I used to create Java classes, I used to create the variables, data connections and database connections, file handling, everything in just one piece of class. But later I realized if I need to do the same thing, in any other class, I would write the same number of code again. 
So modular and non-redundant are interchangeable terms. If you are keeping your design modular, which means if you are handling your database connection in a separate file, your uh, file handling in a separate file, it makes your life a lot more easier, believe me. And for that, we need to focus on non-redundancy as well. That's a very important factor. So based on all these points, your code review will be judged and there are standard code review softwares which uh, you can talk about. Crucible with FizzI is one of the combination of software. These are the product of Atlassian which you can use and this provides a lot more integration with Jira or other agile tool. And it makes life easier for review comments and adopting those reviews and then refining your uh, code. So that's one of the example and that's something what I have used. So let me know your uh, thought process about this interview discussion. Is there anything which you want to add? I'll be happy to take your uh, inputs as well. And that's where we will learn together. Thank you. Thanks for watching.